Hello, I'm Heather with the Cumberland County Public Library. Today, we are going to visit a digital book collection that you might not have explored yet, Homegrown eBooks. Homegrown eBooks is a collection of tiles from North Carolina publishers. It is curated by NC Live and hosted by Biblioboard. To access Homegrown eBooks, go to the library's homepage, scroll down, and click on Using the Library. Scroll down and select Free Downloads. Click on eBooks and follow the link to Homegrown eBooks. A box will pop up letting you know that you are leaving Cumberland County's website. Click OK to proceed. Here's the Homegrown eBooks main page. You can use the collection without signing in, but to get the most out of the site, you will want to set up a portfolio. To do that, click on the menu bars up in the left-hand corner. Here you can sign in if you already have a portfolio, or click on Create Your Portfolio to make one. Having a portfolio allows you to save favorites, create bookmarks, add notes, and sync preferences. I don't need to be signed in to show you what we will cover today, so I'm going to browse as a guest. The main page for the Homegrown eBooks collection allows for easy browsing by genre or category. First is fiction. To see more genres, click on the Preview More from this curation. Next is nonfiction, which you can browse by category. Following is young adult, juvenile fiction, and nonfiction. At the bottom is the History Lab. This contains anthologies and even primary source materials on a wide range of topics. Now, let's browse and find a book. I'm going to click on YA Sci-Fi and Fantasy. Here you can see how many tiles are in this particular collection. To look at a book, click on its cover or its title. I'm going to click on Jacoby. This takes you to the book's page where you can see its details. It also has citations in various styles if you need to cite the title for a report. If you are signed in, you can add the book to your favorites or add a comment. Most importantly, this page is where you can start to read the book by clicking on the Read button. Here we have the Reading View. Now, one advantage to Homegrown eBooks collection is that the titles are always available. One disadvantage is that most of these books can only be read online, so you will need to be connected to the internet to access and read them. The view controls are over on the right. The arrows to flip the pages, the button to switch between one and two page views, the button that allows you to control the font size, background color, and font type, and also the buttons that allow you to make a bookmark or take a note. You'll need to be signed in to use those last two. To read the book, use the arrows to flip the pages, or you can click on the right-hand side to move forward, or the left-hand side to move backwards. When you simply must stop reading, click on the X in the top right corner to go back to the book's page. To get back to the collection's homepage, click on Cumberland County Public Library at top. If you want to look for books with specific words, click on the search icon in the upper right corner. You can type in your search terms here or click on Advanced for more options. Because it's October, I'm going to search for ghost stories. That search pulled up quite a few titles. To narrow the options down, you can use the filters on the left. Tell it to search for the keywords only in the title or in the full text. You can also narrow the search by category, content type, contributor, 
publication year, language, and so forth. The filter I'm going to show you is the license type. I'm going to select public domain, meaning that these titles are no longer under copyright. I'm going to click on The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Because this title is out of copyright, you'll see that it has a download option under the Read button. This lets you download the title as a PDF, allowing you to read it even if you are not connected to the internet. Titles that are still under copyright will not have a download option. To access homegrown eBooks on your smartphone or tablet, you can download the BiblioBoard library app. This will work very much like the website does. If you have any questions about this or other library programs, please give us a call at 910-483-7727 or visit our website at cumberlandcountync.gov forward slash library. Thank you for watching.